All right, welcome to Angry Video Game Nerd 1 and 2 Deluxe. Sorry, I can't see chat right now. 1 and 2 Deluxe, last time uh, I was here, uh, we played the Angry Video Game Nerd Adventures. We got 100% on that. Also, while I was off stream, I did uh, beat it and eat it 100%. Uh, or, or perfect, I should say. So I have uh, three more levels that I want to do perfect. But today we're going to move on to the second game. We're going to go to... Angry Video Game Nerd ASS Simulation. So, this is one that I did play already on stream. There's 60 nerd carts to get, and I will be getting all of those along with all of the unlockables and that kind of stuff, and try to uh, perfect uh, levels where I can. Sorry. It was a perfect day on planet Earth. The sun was shining, and all was well. Oh, cool. I think, oh, people everywhere were enjoying the sunshine and copious amounts of booze. Suddenly a beam of light uh, from space struck the earth. Laughing everyone and everything. The beam transformed the entire world into shitty game. And everyone became pixelated monsters. All but one foul mouth nerd who stayed home playing shitty games all day and all night. Alright, nerd room 3am. Ugh, my head. What the fuck happened to my house? Why does it look like I'm in another shitty game? I pointed this out last time, but I enjoyed the uh, Donkey Kong Country 2 poster. Ow. And look behind the couch, we see the uh, dead, the skeleton. Ah, oh, thank fuck, I'm free. Oh, it's that asshole from last game. What the fuck is going on? You gotta help turn the world back to normal. What the hell is even going on? Save the world, nerd. I. You know what? I I already played through this game. Ah, how'd you get there? Alright, shut the fuck up. I now had to jump. This is in your first game. Hey, look, uh, Polybius is, uh, is hiding out here. That's, uh, new to the remake. Alright. There we go. Mm, there we are. There we go. Okay, checkpoint. Look out below! It's you, Fred Fox? You were expecting, uh, maybe the fucking Adams family? What are you doing here? Have you sucked me into another shitty game? This ain't my work. I'm here because I located a piece of my fox capacitor in your basement. Now to find the other five. <laughs> I don't care. Back off, you fuck. It's mine and you're not... Okay. So, Fred Fox replaces the, uh, the Nostalgia Critic. Fuck you, nerd. Well, I guess I gotta collect five more pieces, huh? Uh, it's so stupid. Alright. Book tutorials. Wait, did I just blow up my own house? Still funny. Zero deaths. Perfected. Alright. Alright, so... As we figured out last time, the best strategy is to start at board games and just kind of go counterclockwise. Board games. I hate board games. And then... There we go. As I already said, I'm going to collect all the nerd cartridges, or attempt to. Alright. I see one up there. So I guess I probably gotta come from above. No, that was actually easier than I expected. Lord. Whoop, avoid that. Ah, 
<laughs> I'm also gonna try to get perfect where I can. All right. Toy helicopter. Yeah, that looks safe. Uh, like, why would you do that? Okay. There we go. Got all the nerd letters. Got a no! Ah! Oh! I kind of want to reset the level. I am resetting the level. Because I was so close to doing it first try. And then I just slightly slipped. And up. Like the fact that it was right there at the end. I had, there was the power glove, it's so bad. I like how the, the nerd has become like so synonymous with the power glove and his, uh, you know, the, the power up outfit he did for the uh, NES accessories and the, Uh, the the Rob fight, the Super Mario Brothers three, uh, Satan fight and stuff like that. Like that came to define the nerd, and it was so early on, so early on. And it's not like he does it all the time anymore or anything like that, or or anything. He's definitely fumbled with that fucking rabbit more often than he's put on the, the the whole costume shenanigans. There we go. Like I said, I was right there at the end. Fuck board games and fuck this level and fuck whoever designed it. Perfect! Zero deaths! Last time when I uh, played this game, it did take us just about two hours to do the whole thing, so... Wow! Incredible! Hello, Phil! Welcome to the stream. This level, I remember the uh, starting layout being incredibly different. It's also worth uh, pointing out that the background, now in all three of these uh, nerd levels, features a Godzilla parody. Godzilla pastiche. In there. So this one uh, looks like he's fighting Mothra. And yep. Oh. Ow. Wow. Wait, how? Oh my god, you can just barely make that jump. Do I just go up here? Yes, I do. I remember that the... Fuck off! Uh, no, fuck it. Okay. Again, right there at the end and I died. Yeah, I see you there. I saw you. Okay. Also, in this game, like, all the death blocks have uh, different theming based on them. All right, let's do the entire level all over again, I guess.
Luckily, these levels aren't that long, so... Oh. Ow. Ow. I think it gave me a lot of kegs. Huh. There we go. So two of the upgrades and two perfected levels already. <laughs> uh, nope. Next thing we do is Dookie Dookie Panic. Ow. Ah, oh, fuck. Do I still have the upgrade? Yeah, I do. Okay. I guess I could have figured that out by, uh... By just holding down the button. I mean, come on, you're, you're presenting me with a golden opportunity here. Oh. oh, okay, I gotta take, I gotta go down here if I wanna pop some E. There we go. Nope, why the fuck? All right. Ah, fuck. I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this level first. Collect all the things, oh my gosh. How am I still alive? I think there's an achievement in uh, the Steam version of this game for getting hit by all of the different types of uh, death blocks. Which I do think is kind of funny. I mean, an achievement that is, hey, die four times at minimum. Uh, okay, I need to get the D. That's actually not that hard to do. I say and then die immediately. Again, why do I say things sometimes? I mean, I get it. I'd be a pretty boring streamer if I didn't say things. Y'all know what I mean. I think this is the end of the level. Yeah, end of the level. All right. Time to flush this turd of a level. All right, two deaths. I can easily fix that. The, the main reason why I died twice was because I was hunting for the letters, so.
And that skull looks freaky when there's a uh, semi-transparent... Uh, uh, cartridge in front of it. Reminder, this is, uh, this is a, or this was a stretch goal for Freak Zonathon. I have a bunch more to hit after this. Oh, hey. So, uh, keep on watching if you want to see any of those. We've got bonus modes from, uh, what's it called? We got bonus modes from Spectacular, and there we go. We're 50% uh, done the Awesome Land speedruns as another stretch goal. Thank you for that, Phil. We got... Fuck. We got Spectacular Sparky uh, runs coming up. Uh, that's the Frenzy mode. Yeah, it's been a while since I've uh, speedrun. Basically, like, the games I feel like speedrunning are not the games that bring in viewers, is how I'm gonna put it. Because the last game I felt like speedrunning, or that I did, was like Curse of Crescent Isle, or something like that. And that didn't do too great. Um, I mean, no one really knows what the game is is so I understand uh, other than that I've done like frog detective that that went down like particular well but I don't know I'm not great at that game and I don't think it's a super fun speed run it's just clicking through things fairly quickly uh, oh I Okay, here I died just because I hit the thing. If you do the levels in the right order, they're actually pretty easy. Nope. Fucking hell. But yeah, I don't know, I just kind of fell out of the whole speedrunning spirit. It's been a while since I had something like, um... The uh, Squidlet inspire me, you know? So it just... nothing's been there. All the games with like speedrun achievements in them aren't super runs. I like Squidlet and Elec Head. Oh yeah. Yeah, those were fun. Elec Head, yeah. And I did so well, like, the first time I played this level. Oh, there we go. Ha! Ah, fuck, I thought I could kill that thing before it would hit me. Yeah, Squidlin and Eli Head were pretty good runs. I'm trying to think of what else was, uh... Yeah, there's some NES games that I looked at, uh, speedrunning, stuff like that. Shadow of the Ninja was one of them. I started routing it out and all that kind of stuff. But then it's like, I couldn't figure out the, the boss. 
Karnov. Karnov! Yeah, hell yeah. Definitely did that. Alright, there we go. There we go. Kind of powered through uh, the ending there. But zero deaths. All right. The fuck happened to the color? All right. Looking for some nerd cartridges. And looking for to not die. In fort will not die. All right. Hey, fucking bats! Why is it always bats? Ah! Oh, hey, cool. Okay, I'm noticing I haven't found a single letter yet. All the single letters, all the single letters. Okay, I'm gonna let that swing through. Okay. Let's walk on through. Okay, I missed the end somewhere. I haven't died yet, so I'm not going to, uh, reset just yet either. Okay, well... <sighs> Fuck! There we go! So I did it in one life. I'm missing two of the nerd letters, though. <laughs> I also, uh, am missing the upgrade in the level. What the fuck? There's an upgrade in this level. Why didn't I find it? Uh, I think I see where the N is. Hold on. Yep, yep, there it is. That's mean. And tricky. Ah, fuck. It's tricky, 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 tricky. It's tricky to rock a rhyme to find an end. Okay. Fuck. Fuck. Eh, it doesn't matter if I die. I'm not... I already did the, the game in one life. It's 
Smart idea, Leo. Just stand where you're getting repeatedly hit. Okay. No, not there. Is it up here? Definitely not. I mean, maybe it's the same place where the R is. death. They, they put spikes and then they put a death block under it, so okay. Really making sure we get the message there. No, nothing there? Weird, I thought I saw something. Yeah, I found the R and I found the other thing. Found the cape. There we go. Do I need to finish the level? I don't think I do. Yeah, I don't need to finish the level. All right, and last one. So this is the level that got changed the most in this remake. This whole area 52 section, it was based on the Angry Video Game Nerd movie, and in this one, it is not. Is that fuck the fucking alien? Well. So, here's the thing. They, in the Angry Video Game Nerd movie, they had an alien that was a stand-in for E.T. that didn't really look much like E.T. For good reason, obviously. And then in this game, they change it so it looks like a lot like E.T. again. I guess I'm supposed to do it like this? What the hell? Okay. No. Okay. So I think what they want me to do is go... Yeah, okay. There, yeah, 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 that works. Okay. There was no reason to kill that thing whatsoever. I think I did that last time, too. Okay. The fuck is happening? Alright. Checkpoint. There we go. Yeah, I saw the art. No! Uh. There we 
There we go. Okay, come on. If I just... There we go. Yeah, that just looks straight up like an E.T. copy now. Definitely some of these stats were from fucking gravity flip flop and fuck parts. I'll take an upside down shit all over this game! So four deaths. Most of those were from figuring things out and trying to uh, uh, get the, the letters, so... I kind of like the concept of just going... Uh, stage by stage, doing all the, like, ones and then all the twos. So I might stick with doing that. this section in the original game you had to hit these uh, those platforms and like bounce back and forth a couple of times and this uh, that one clearly you did it So close to the end. So close to the end. I forgot I can charge my laser. That's a timely and currently topical reference. Heard you like old memes. So I put this old meme in an old stream. <laughs> so you can feel your bones. Why is the video game angry at a nerd? Uh, because he keeps pooping on it. So close! So close to doing it deathless. 
What were they thinking? Realize the upgrade for for this section isn't in this level. It's in it's in the last part. So if I want to fully upgrade the nerd, I'm gonna have to do all of Area 52 at once. So I guess we're doing that, huh? thinking with portals but also uh, Misha how is it going today hope you're doing fine fuck just because I'm trying to do this perfectly this is going to take uh, longer than the first time I streamed this. I was way too- I don't know why I'm so impatient with this level. Probably because it keeps killing me. Whee. But yeah, if I was just a little bit more patient, I'd probably... Woo! That was close. I like the background elements of indicating where the laser beams are going to go. That's pretty handy. Alright. Okay. See, originally there he said something about like, oh, it's just like the movie. Remember that part in the movie where I teleported all over the fucking place? But then here they just cut it out and it just became, I don't know, what the fuck is going on? What were they thinking? There we go. Now it's gotta get past this, and there we go, perfect. So, now I have to face this decision. Do I wanna just get all the upgrades first? Or do I want, I wanna get all the upgrades first. Yeah, a slide down the shaft. Oh shit. There we 
Thank you. Well, I collect... No, I didn't collect any. I was thrown back to the start, so I might as well start all over again. F-bombs and beer and a cartridge with an N on it. Doing too badly here. Fuck! Why'd I say anything? If I was a bigger YouTuber, if I was a bigger Twitch streamer, there would be a YouTube compilation of like. Every time he said he's doing good and then dies immediately. Well, fuck me. Well, fuck me. Well, fuck me. Oh, the two letters are right there, one after each other? Jeez. Okay. My ass is fine with that as a result. Incoming! Fred Fox? Give me that Fox capacitor, dick fart! How the hell did you get past the security in this place? Shut the fuck up, that's how! Now kindly un- Okay, bring it, Fox. I'll be back, motherfucker! Down, down, down. That's the only direction this fucking game is going. Alright, so I decided I'm going to perfect. I'll come back to perfect it. Like, all in order. Why, 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 why? Whoa, what the fuck? Alright. Gravity flips every time I jump? That is bullshit. You wanna know what's bullshit? Gravity changes every time I jump. I, that sounds more like, uh, uh. That doesn't even sound like it anyway. I was gonna say it sounds more like Doug Walker, but it doesn't even. Okay, I said there we are, but uh, what I meant was there we end. Damn, this music is so cool. Alright. 
There we go. And there. And one more. Whoop, whoop. Oh, fuck. Do I still have the thing? Yeah, I still have the thing. Know what? Fuck it. If I'm gonna come back here later to uh, perfect it and all that kind of stuff, I already have the super scope. Let's do all the second levels. Since I already did the second level here. Yeah, let's let's just keep uh, up with this one. Do this one perfect. And then I'll go clockwise. And then we can end things with another counterclockwise. Or, and then there's also the bosses, of course. Woo! So yeah, this particular level didn't get changed much. Except for the, obviously, the inclusion of Fred Fox. Instead of, uh, the Nostalgia Critic. So this uh, this deluxe version relies heavily on you seeing the um, Life of Black Tiger episode, which I would say is not one of the Angry Video Game Nerd's better episodes. I mean, I'm kind of I'm definitely of the opinion that the better nerd episodes are the ones that actually have to do with like NES games and old games no uh, I was doing so well there I don't think that's a controversial opinion but like even recently the uh, the the Goonies episode I think was pretty good what was that I think the Goonies episode was pretty good and then the, like, horse prince thing. That was just terrible. Like, I didn't like that one at all. And then the the 20th anniversary special where he looked back at all the Castlevania games. That one was good. Even though, you know, it's not angry. It's just basically James Rolfe, uh talking about what games he likes and stuff like that, but there was an honesty to it that wasn't like trying to play it up for laughs and that kind of stuff. That made it really enjoyable. I think I may have said this last time. Or, or on a previous stream or uh, something like that. So if anyone's like on YouTube binging the uh, Freak zone thon I apologize for repeating myself. I don't think there's been a new nerd episode since then, though. Which I'm really surprised because you would have expected something to actually come out closer to the the anniversary date, even if it was just like a uh, compilation or something like that, you know? All right, I think I got it now. There it is. So now I just have to beat Fred Fox. And I, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing as a secret. But if you charge up before you go into a fight, during the cutscene, you can get a shot off early. So, that's a little uh, uh, gameplay tip for anyone curious. Alright, let's go to the second level, Saturated Shit Fest. I remember this one. Well, of course I remember this one. I, I played all of them. Alright. A color button? What kind of game has a color button? No. 
I tried three times to pick up that E. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Oh! Oh yeah. Ugh! Oh, phew! Wait. Yeah! I'm gonna keep going just because... It'll give me a chance to refresh myself on this level. sad about uh pro tip from a pro gamer yeah there we go there we go speaking of which we should be fighting Someone right about now? Who keeps fucking with the color? Fred Fox, not you again. Oh, if it isn't everyone's favorite fucking nerd trying to... Yeah, they, it goes too bad. Of course, here you go. Please take it. Psych, I'm not gonna turn you into fucking Swiss cheese. Fuck you! I think this is the only stage with a moving, uh... With a moving explosion button. Okay, two deaths, so not that bad. Alright, let's try that again. No deaths. Yeah, it's going well for the whole no deaths thing. I get hit right away. I don't know why this makes me think of uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Uh, I've been uh, playing that again recently. And by again, I mean still, technically. Um, yesterday... No, not yes. Yeah, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday I played through the the uh, pit of a uh, hundred trials, so there's that big challenge done. Having to beat a uh, bone tail. That was a whole thing. Pretty much done everything then. Uh, I haven't beaten the game yet. I haven't, uh, gone through, and I haven't actually gone through the thousand year door yet. So, I haven't saved Peach. I also beat all the, uh, I also beat all the troubles in the game. You know, the, uh, the trouble board that exists on there. And you know, it's a good thing that uh, today as part of the Nintendo Direct, there's a new Mario RPG game coming out. Because, you know, I'd be bored if I didn't have another one. You know, I had to go from the RPG remake to the... Uh, 
I mean Seven Stars remake to the Paper Mario Thousand Year Door remake. Fuck! That fucking- this section is one of the hardest ones in that like just little section there is super hard if you don't have the 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 item to find the things if, if you're reliant on the platforms themselves But even then, like, the bats and that kind of shit. Oh, fuck this. There we go. Ah, fuck. It's like, what hit me? Oh. Why do ghosts suddenly appear? I made it through without getting hit at all. What the fuck, game? Yeah, that's that's I'm just gonna wait out the timer here. Just gotta survive this. There we go. Ah, oh, shit. I was hoping I'd just be able to <laughs> jump from the end. Okay. New record. Perfect. No guess. Off to God Kelp Us. Oh boy, I can't wait to spend more time in the sewers, women. Fecal matter. Electrified fucking kelp. What were they thinking? That feels like an impression of a parody of the angry video game nerd. Get in and then get out. You know? Oh god. The fuck, man? Am I supposed to just take the hit there? I mean, 
that's how I do it in the actual uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game, granted, but okay. So when it's not lit up, I can go through it. Ah, uh, good enough. Alright. And we jump over this pit. Wait, I didn't walk over at all. Alright. There we go. you people I don't know why that came to mind. oh hey I remember this uh, part being really annoying and having uh, death blocks now it just has the uh, the, 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 the death uh, ball Oop. Yes! I only have one letter left to find, too. That's annoying. Ah, uh, okay, okay, so don't hop over them. Just run under. One, kept one right at the end there. That's to make sure it wasn't too fucking easy. That goldfish looks so out of it. Yeah, fuck your stupid electrified maze. Now we have the nerdy turd. And there we are. So all the nerd letters collected, still gotta complete it without dying. And the only reason I'm so good at doing these levels without dying is because I've done it before. There's an achievement on Steam for getting all the letters without dying. And I got it. And so I have practiced some of these levels a lot. Also, being able to do it post uh, grabbing all the uh, letters and stuff like that is very nice. Not having to worry about... Uh, not having to worry about uh, uh, getting all the letters and perfecting the stage. Or, or, yeah, not having, not having to worry about doing both at the same time is very nice. All right. Wow. 
Wow. Woo, that was close. That goldfish is like a pro level magic card there. And remember when I played a uh, uh, Pokemon Pure Blue, and there were actually like some pro level magic carps in some points. That was cool. That was a funny joke. Oh yeah, look at that. Made it through without getting hit once. Kind of as a Yamcha apologist, and it's that's not a fair fight. Like Yamcha, come on. Okay. There we go. I said, yeah, yeah, I'm Chopologist. Mostly because, like, I'm a big fan of the original Dragon Ball series. Which, by the way, if you're also a fan of the original Dragon Ball series, uh, stay tuned to my channel. I'm gonna have something relating to that coming up soon. Not gonna give too much away, but I've got something planned next month. Yeah. I mean, I know obviously it'll be a, uh, it'll be a Dragon Ball video game. But which one? I don't want to give too much away too much ahead of time. Let's take a little hydrate uh, break there. Raw Fish Rampage. So, yeah, I, I don't like giving too much away too uh, far ahead of time because sometimes plans change. And, you know, that it... It would be, I don't like being like, oh, I'm going to do this next month and then not be able to, to stream and do that kind of thing. All right. It's the auto-scroller level. Courtesy of Freak Zone Games. I wonder who the uh, Godzilla... Like, oh, Godzilla is fighting the claw. Okay, so appearances of the claw include a boss twice in Manos of Faith, 
a Boston Angry Video Game Nerd uh, Adventures 1, a Boston Torment of Tower, a Boston Spectacular Sparky, and a background element here. So if we count the two bosses in Menos, the Hands of Faith, as two separate appearances, and if we count this, then that means uh, we've had six appearances of the Claw. Whew, that was close. All right. Oh! Whoa, it's not just one claw. It's three claws! I say like a King Ghidorah type enemy. I like how one of them's just derpy at the bottom. Ah, fuck. I'm gonna keep going. It, it's it's very much like the, the King Ghidorah meme. You know the one I'm talking about. All right. Banzai! Don't you just love auto scrolling? This asshole again. Let me guess. You got to uh, get the fuss capacitor first, and won't let me have it. Ha! Ah, guess again, fucko. I got to get to the fuss capacitor, and you can't have this fucking guy. Heads up, fucker! I got a shitload of rifle bullets with your name on it. Boiled again! Yeah, pretty easily that time. How many times did I die? Never fucking need sushi again. I only had one death that entire time. That's pretty fucking good. Almost did it first try. Alright, let's go again and actually do it first try. I know that the next level is actually pretty easy to uh, perfect. I say perfect. Weird. I like that. You ever like listen to yourself and just think like, I pronounce weirds. I pronounce words weirdly. It happened to me the other day while I was doing karaoke. And like, um, I was saying Spider Man. No, I never listen to myself. Hey, probably better. I was saying, uh, I, I was singing the Michael Buble Spider-Man theme, which, if if you haven't heard that version, it's amazing. And it, it's just like I was hearing the way I was saying Spider-Man, and I don't know if it was just because like I was singing it or what, but it felt like I was hitting it in like all the wrong ways, like I wasn't flowing into the word it was like every syllable was its own word so instead of spider-man it was like spider-man you know it, it just felt weird and I felt really self-conscious well afterwards about it but also it, it brought down the house, like, people really liked it. It's definitely like, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. It was like, Spider-Man, that's how I felt like I was saying it. <laughs> it wasn't that bad, I'm, I'm just being like a little hard on myself. You should see me when I listen to, um, my old performances as Conroy Cat. Oh my god, I am tearing 
myself apart whenever I listen to those. I do not like my performances in some of the older tunes. It's like, hey doggy, are you ready to get going? And eventually, I, I eventually, obviously I eventually loosened up a lot more and, and felt more com feel more comfortable with, with the world now. And also like I found some key phrases to get into and but um now we're doing a lot more takes because before Alex used to just ask me like just send me your two best takes and he'd pick from that and sometimes I feel like he wouldn't pick the best take but you know it was the one he wanted and he's a collector So like maybe it's just me being self-conscious. Maybe they're actually good days. All right. <laughs> Didn't even get hit by him. All right. Boom! New record and uh, no death. Perfect new record. All right, we have about half an hour left in the stream, so chances are... I think I'm gonna probably continue this game next week again. You'll get caught up in the crossfire. This one is hard to, uh, to do if I remember correctly. Boy, I sure wish I could aim backwards every now and then. Come on. Board James? The whole world is a board game. So I didn't get the letter D, but I did do it perfectly no deaths. That was actually easier than I remember. And... Oh, I thought we unlocked the, uh, the board James costume when we did that. Maybe it's, uh... Maybe it's when we, uh, uh... Get all the letters from this stage. Okay, N E Oh, 
are... Where's the letter D? If anyone watching sees where it is. There's the R. Is it like in the bottom in the fire or something? There it is. That is disguised as hell and in just a mean spot. That is a mean spot. Ugh. Yeah, the idea of doing ass. The idea of doing this in one life. Oh boy. Right at the safe spot. Oh, oh, oh! I have the letter! Okay. I have, I have all the letters. Okay. So even though I didn't hit a safe spot because I collected it in the stage, I still, I still got it. Okay. Alright. Next level. Toy Car Turmoil. New skin unlocked for James. Oh, peace. Expecting to do that jump. Hey. I'm getting a sense for how this game works. You know, for a level called Toy Car Trouble, I haven't found a lot of toy cars. Thing over here, right? Yeah. 
There we go. Hey, there's a the toy car. Okay, I can. I should jump over. I'm leading the way, fuckers. I think when I visited the Spriders resource, the car had its own like sprite sheet or something like that. Oh. God, I'm gonna puke. Okay, yeah, I saw it there. Okay. Two deaths, three minutes, one letter missing. I think I can probably get that missing letter and also uh, finish without dying. Flashing James roll. There we go. And perfect. Should I do the bosses now or should I wait until next stream? I'll, I'll, I'll wait until I actually come around to sush him up. Look, I could switch over to a board chain skin. <laughs> Okay. What the hell is this thing? Yeah, so this one's pretty easy to, uh... To get right the first time. As a matter of fact... I'm gonna put that challenge to myself to do it all in once. Oh, who's uh, not Godzilla fighting this time? I think it was Mecha Godzilla in this one? Yeah! Not Godzilla is fighting not Mecha Godzilla. <laughs> Balls of the North Star! Okay.
Come on. Yes. All one shot perfect. First try, no deaths, all letters. Let's go! Thank you, Phil. Ah, crappy croc conundrum. This this one isn't gonna be like that. I I need a I need a little water break here. All right. Fuck! I mean, if I die right at the start, I might as well restart, you know. But fuck. Actually, didn't do too badly there for a bit. Wait, what? It g it gave me those letters anyways. Well, I'll take them. Well, okay. I'm gonna continue. Just cause, you know, I did find some things. I did find the letters. And this gives me the chance to study the level more. I'm starting to think this, uh... I, I kind of feel like, see you later, I like, nope, I can't say it. I kind of feel like the second level in each uh, section might be the hardest part, except for the bosses, obviously. Because I don't feel like this was as hard as uh, perfecting this and doing this was as hard as the, uh, the other one. I don't know why I hit that checkpoint. Force of habit, I suppose. I'll let that go by. Look at that! Wow!
cool. Uh, all right. Next, I think, is Deadly Danger Dungeon. Oof. This is always a hard one. I mean, it's named after Deadly Danger Dungeon, so... Fuck. So it's like, yeah, let's give you a tiny hallway. Put lots of enemies that can walk through the walls for some reason. Or fly through the wall, I guess, is more appropriate. Yeah, I'm a dumbass. As I can see it right up there. And I saw the cartridge, which is why I stopped. there but it didn't really serve a purpose except to fuck me over like I have a lot of the level left over. Oh my god. Hey there. Hey buddy. You look angry. Oh, I remember. This is the level where you need to hop over the end to get the last letter. And I didn't do it. like killing the uh the Jason pastiche with uh, the rocks that were inspired from that game it's like oh it's such a useless weapon and I'm using it to full capacity Big brain. Right. It's just pure memorization sometimes. There's something that wants to kill me there.
<laughs> there we go. Boom! Alright. Last uh, last regular level. Why, 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 why? Which we already saw a preview of. Alright, so I already got the end down there. I feel like I'm seeing out the obvious. The filter on this level is kind of weird. Four deaths, not bad. Found all the the nerd letters, but still need to perfect it. Again, it's not something that counts for the 100%. But since it's an achievement in the Steam version, I've done it before, and it's something I can see right there, I'm gonna count it. This is why I'm also gonna go back and do it for all the levels in the uh, first game as well. And probably the uh, power for me. Because I have one more stream of this challenge left anyways, with all of that stuff. Alright. 
There we go. much all the the regular levels I have a couple more things left to do we have all the bosses obviously no uh, we have all the bosses we need to do and we have the uh, virtual insanity level and then we have the final boss left to do but for this uh, shorter stream because I do have to get going and meet people for Improv practice before we do a show. I uh, think that was pretty good. We're going to say fuck it. Look at that. 60 out of 60 of the nerd letters found. Nice. 92% done, obviously. All of the equipment. And we still haven't unlocked the Tower of Torment because that requires you beating the other two games. All right, with that being said, that is it uh, for this game. Thank you, everyone, for joining me today. It was a lot of fun. Yeah.